saw that the world cringed at the Almighty only through fear. Then I made the devil's acquaintance. Yeah, I knew that he was my natural master, captain, and friend. I prayed secretly to him, and he comforted me. I promised him my soul and swore an oath that I would stand up for him in this world and stand by him in the next. That promise and that oath made a man of me. <laughs> He's wrong. It's your husband who's in danger. Tony. He's only trying to frighten you. The devil's disciple under the parson's roof. <laughs> Who'd think of looking for him here? Anthony Anderson, I arrest you in King George's name as a rebel. Get your husband safely out of harm's way. You understand? Come live the lusty American adventure as it was never lived before in the violent age of The Devil's Disciple with all its heroes, hellions, and danger-daring women on the battlefields of love and war. I thought I had the pleasure of addressing Gentlemanly Johnny. I believe I am Gentlemanly Johnny, sir. My more intimate friends call me General Burgoyne. You will understand, sir, I hope, that if we do have the misfortune to hang you, we shall do so as a mere matter of political necessity and military duty without any personal ill feeling. Well, that makes all the difference in the world, of course. Order! Ah! Will you now give the orders accordingly? You stop this execution. Order! 